Alright guys, so you can kind of see here in the background, I got a little carried away on assembly day one. Uh, got the SNS motor yesterday um, and ended up unboxing it and uh, making this thing a roller a lot faster than I thought I would. I was, I was kind of stuck on the head tube getting it together until I started really looking at the parts and seeing what was there, got it all, uh, got it all together. Got some new parts to show you that I've installed on the bike already, and I got some stuff on the shelf still. Um, other than that, let's get to it. I'll show you kind of uh, some more stuff on the on the bike itself here. I'm also going to be showing uh, parts of it to the guys at Zero are watching, and uh, so I'll be asking them questions, make sure I got pieces fitted correctly things like that. I don't know if I'll need to take pictures or not. Hopefully the video is uh, sufficient that they can tell. Um, but uh, without further ado, let's, uh, let's move on here. Hey, it's really dark at the garage here, so hopefully this light does the trick. You can see I kind of arranged everything uh, into individual bins here, labeled them all, got a list of things I still need to do and check and make sure I got tight. Uh, got the tail light all assembled here. Got everything else kind of grouped together in parts. See the brake calipers there. We've got our exhaust wrap and other random crap down here. Primary and oil oil bag. So you can kind of see how I got some SNS stuff up here. So you can see how I kind of organized everything and got it together there. Uh, next up, what I wanted to show you guys are the new parts that I got. This is the headlight I decided to go with. It's made by uh, Crime Scene Choppers. Crime Scene Choppers, I butchered that. Um, this is a limited production run, full brass headlight. You can see I don't quite have it together correct just yet. There's a rubber gasket inside that makes this really hard to assemble. But uh, I think it's going to give the right look on the bike. Um, something I'm really bummed out about I'm, I showed you the After Hours Choppers risers and I ended up getting um, some custom tech risers that I like even more. But what sucks is that the Zero Springer front end, which I didn't know, uses a uh, expanding uh, mount on the bottom here for their, uh, for their risers. Which these aren't bad risers or anything, they just don't go with the... Uh, that whole brass thing I'm trying to go with. So I'm going to try to figure out a way to make those work. What other uh, the cu other custom tech parts I got are here. Um, went with their master cylinder and their external throttle. And then I'm using Zero's um, throttle system, which actually I haven't gotten to work yet. It's, it's locked and it doesn't really move around right. I think the um, the difference on the inside here compared to the inner diameter of the actual uh, grip something's going on in there so gotta figure out what's happening with that and then I got their clutch lever too the custom tech really nice stuff raw just raw aluminum cast stuff they have great customer service I had a little a uh, little nick out of the uh, clamp there and then one of the sides is kind of just crappy, crappy forging. So I uh, emailed them, got a response half a day. They're on top of it. Uh, you can see this. I just mounted that seat just to get it going. Um, that's, that's one thing that I wasn't sure of. And this is for zero here. So I wasn't sure hardware wise if these, if the bolts are just supposed to float into the springs. And then you just, is, is that how it goes? There's no, uh, you don't bolt the tops up and capture the springs or, or no? Wasn't sure about that. Uh, the other question I had was to make sure I have my uh, sequencing correct in my head tube here. So we've got, uh, let me turn that light on again. There we go. So we've got the uh, dust cover right sitting right on top of the the bridge for the Springer got the dust cover and then the head tube piece 
going straight up, same just backwards. We got the head tube piece, dust cover, uh, of course the bearings in there, packed with grease, and then we've got the uh, the first uh, shallow nut, and then I use that black aluminum spacer, and then we've got the uh, got the, the triple tree clamp up there, and then we've got the cap. That's really the only way I could figure out to make everything fit together correctly. I I think that's correct, but. Uh, Check that out guys and let me know if it's not. Next thing I wasn't sure about, the uh, gas tank mounts. Uh, you can see I used the, so the grommets pushed in right here, this one's not perfect yet. Um, grommet and then we've got the, uh, the spacer right against the frame and then the bolt. I didn't know if there was supposed to be a washer of any kind under here or not. Uh, that's the best way I could figure it out but I still think um, the tank could come off that way. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, and uh, same, of course, with uh, the front. You know, I, I don't know. I when I open the uh, the bike with all the parts, I was worried that the uh, that that sumo tank would be too big, but I think it's just right. It looks really good with that knuckle. The knuckle take up, takes up a lot more of the frame than I had uh, thought it would, so um, I think we'll be good there. So you can see those jack stands I bought, um, those fat jack stands, they work awesome for this. Um, right now I have most of the weight on the tires of the bike and then the stands are just kind of basically acting as a kickstand. Um, that was, that's working really well. I like it a lot. Uh, the bike still comes up rather easily with those. Um, that's working really nice. You can kind of see just kind of how small these bikes are. They're pretty tiny, but uh, to me they feel just right. It's it's a really nice feel. That really kind of low slung look. Feet will be like right about in here. Not too bad. Really comfortable for me anyway. It fits my uh, fits my frame pretty well. Um, the seat's not too bad. It's this one's pretty comfortable. I mean, it's a it's a fairly large seat, but uh, with the springs, it's definitely uh, it's definitely going to be a stiff ride. But uh, hopefully, that Springer front end and the seat absorbs a lot of stuff. Uh, knuckle looks fantastic. I'm so happy with this. Um, and I, like I said, uh, this is a rush for day one. My friend came over, helped me uh, get that front end on there, and. We just, next thing I know, we're putting the motor in the frame, so uh, definitely got a lot further than I thought I would. I'm really pleased with the SNS. Just really, really awesome. I'm super happy with it. The knuckle is something that I've always gone after. Yes, I'd like to have an original one in there, but I, I really wanted, I guess, more reliability, I guess. I, I have the flathead, and it's... Uh, I don't know. It's not that it's reliable, but you can see, I've got a bit of work to do. That's that's the lovely oil we we've developed over the winter. You can see the pans is almost full, and it's running down the kickstand onto the ground too. So I got a lot of cleanup to do. But uh, we'll definitely make this thing running again. Again, I'm going to change the seat out. Maybe the rear fender. Speaking of rear fenders, that's something I didn't show you for the zero. Look away for a second here. You know, it has escaped me too. I just can't remember the name of the maker of that fender. But it's a brass rear fender. Again with the brass stuff. I still... I mean, depending on the color of tank I go with, I think all the brass stuff could really work. But the fender's cool. I mean, it's all handmade. I'll put a link to the uh, manufacturer in the video or in the description. I think I think it'll work nice. I usually don't like little duck bills like that at the end there, but uh, I think it looks pretty good, especially when we even tip tip the fender up just a little bit more. I'm thinking maybe right around there. That might look cool. So yeah, I definitely planned on having, uh, you know, spacing the videos out more there, but uh, 
I got so much more done than I thought I would accomplish today, and uh, uh, I'm really happy. I mean, like I said, this is the very first bike I've ever built. I've built bicycles in the past, but uh, never, never taken on a, uh, a full motorcycle build at all. I've done some work on it. I, I don't have any technical training in any kind of mechanic sense. Uh, I've only taken a motorcycle maintenance class in the past. But other than that, this is my first go around and I'm so far I'm really happy with the results. Um, I hope, you know, it's kind of taking all the parts and, you know, creating them, making them uh, make sense and work together. I had no idea how to assemble a head tube, but, uh, you know, separating all the parts onto the shelf there and uh, looking at what I had and just kind of piecing it all together to make something that made sense. Hopefully uh, I did it right. Uh, I'm still kind of stuck on the whole wheel spacer thing. I know I still got the brakes to do, so that'll uh, maybe uh, that'll show me the light, I guess you could say. But uh, yeah, my my work's definitely cut out for me. But uh, so happy with uh, the progress here. So I'll be back at you with some more videos. I'm really uh, really pleased with all your positive comments. It really helps me uh, want to make these videos for you guys. I hope I hope you really enjoy them and. I enjoy making them. I never thought I'd I never thought I'd be making videos like this on YouTube, showing things like this in my life like this. But uh, yeah, it's going good. So I'll uh, I'll keep you informed. I'm gonna start working on this uh, throttle here and seeing uh, what I can do to get it going. All right, take care, guys. Bye.